Do Chelsea need to sign Digny in January? Chelsea are in somewhat of an injury crisis right now where the several first team stars can sign to the sidelines. The centre of midfield is the most pressing issue with Matteo Kovacic and Angolo Kante still absent, while Giorgino has been forced to play despite his back injury. That has meant Ruben Loftusik has been promoted to a starring role in the double pivot, with Nice Pass ensuring the man on loan at Fulham last season has been thrown in the deep end. However, that isn't the biggest injury concern for the Mistrushah. Instead, it's a left wing back. When Chilwell was forced off in the Boosie's Champions League win over Juventus in late November after suffering an injury. The club revealed the full back had suffered an anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, injury with initial fears suggesting he'd been out of for between six and nine months. That's the time it took Callum Hasunodoy to return from his own ACL injury which occurred in 2019 and he is only just rediscovering his best form. The injury came as a huge defoinment for Chilwell, who was thriving as a wing back into shell system and had netted for goals and assisted two full clubs and country this season before the incident. Will Chilwell injured, Marcos Alonso has mostly been deployed in his place although Lonnie Sonias did play there against Zenit St. Petersburg. However, recent weeks have shown just how vital Showell is to Chelsea and how much of a drop-off there is to Alonso. Opponents are more willing to give Alonso space, which has in turn negatively affected Rhys James's productivity in front of goal and he's been more closely marked. So, Chelsea have reportedly taken to the transfer market and are currently scouting around for options to replace Shilwell in the short term. The major problem is that whoever they sign will have to accept a back role once the Englishman returns to fitness. That makes finding the ideal candidate extremely hard, but the Blues believe they have done so in evidence Lucas Digny. According to media outlet FIAS, Chelsea viewed the Frenchman as a suitable candidate as a replacement for the injured Chilwell. Nignis can drag with Everton doesn't expire until 2025, which will mean the asking price is high, but his recent falling out with Rava Benitez could make the Blues' life a whole lot easier. The report suggests Chelsea are willing to pay 25 million euro or about 21 million pounds name, but Everton are holding out for 35 million euro or about 30 million pounds name. That certainly complicates things, but would signing Digny even be a good idea? If Chelsea can negotiate a deal that ensures they pay a measly 20 million pounds name for Digny, that it makes sense, he's currently out of favour at Everton, so would likely accept starting row to begin with, before dropping down to play second fiddle once Shilwell is full of it. Furthermore, he's a better player than Alonso and would ease the current concerns surrounding the defensive frailty of that position. But if Chelsea are required to meet Everton's asking price, then it's a move they should avoid. Joel cost fifty million a pouncing himself, so for his backup to cost a further thirty million pouncing would be excessive. Sure, it's nice to have a quality second choice left back, but there are other areas that could do with investment at Chelsea, not least paying the wages that Antonio Rudiger and Andreas Christensen are demanding. Digny is an excellent crosser and his set creativity in the final third can be demonstrated by the fact he's racked up 18 league assists in his three full campaigns at Goodison Park. He's far more secure and fluid in possession than Alonso and is a better defender, so he'd been a decent addition but only a right brace.